All right, and welcome back. Now we took that fan, notice around our CPU. Again, we have these four holes. You'll see I had the paste on there. I was already testing this to make sure. Okay, you wanna line this up with the holes and you'll feel it come in. Notice if you kinda of turn, the fan itself won't turn. These push down. They're actually gonna push through the motherboard. Okay. You heard a click. There, let's do this side. Opposite each other. Keep our fan steady. There we go. Let's click this one. Good click. There we go. That was easy. Okay, so now we have to connect this. One of the good things about this motherboard, notice it says CPU fan one. You'll see that all over the motherboard. It writes, tells you what they are. And this also comes with a good book. It's not common, but that you read them, but you really should this. When it comes with a CD of drivers, go ahead and just keep this CD, of course, if you ever want to sell the motherboard. But this is the book that comes with it. And of course, on page one, there you go. Notice little numbers there all around it. And then it tells you on the next page. Also, okay, so we're looking for the CPU fan one. But it's really cool that it's also written on the motherboard for us. Okay. There, actually, let's pull these down. In. Let's give our fan a really quick few punches. There. And we're going to lift it up. That's good, isn't it? Let's see how she's in there. Okay. You can see our fan connected. You can actually see it's around the little slots in there. Good. Yep. So you notice I didn't put too much pressure on it at all. Make sure we're getting tight. I like it. What do y'all think? Okay. Now we're ready for the memory. 